Nish. Hit so far. Good. All right, it's time to rock this piece. Rock it. Rock it like a hurricane. <laughs> Here I am. something done. I know, I agree with you. Very nice. That's pretty cool. Very I like cool. using these real like familiar light switches, not like some automotive toggle switch or something. Yeah. I don't I don't know if people realize that you can use 120 volt. I mean it's just a switch. It just can handle 15 amps. I mean but it it's still just a switch. Excellent. Screw this thing in. Nice work, Mahoney. Thank you. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm stoked. It's all about just like these little details when they come together, but man, we still have to do that piece down there tomorrow. I know. That's and drill crazy. holes and... Drill a hole through the floor of the bus. Ooh. Are you scared? No, I'm actually pretty confident about it right now. You gotta be careful when you put these screws in, you can't just put it right in a corner like this, it'll blow the corner out. You have to be 
a couple inches from an edge or it'll just kill it. These screws right here are special for this. They have a coating on them, prevents them from, uh, from, uh, what's, what's the word? Rusting? Rusting, yeah. <laughs> and they have a, it has a uh, little hex, or hex head. What's it called? I forget what the kind of screw that is. But, uh, and then it also, it's cool. It has this little ridges on the, taper here to, to eat this out of the way so it doesn't push it out of the way it eats it out of the way just better you have to use them it comes out very flush got a little fulcrum here and then let your body weight do the rest of the work It. Pretty easy. It's the short ones are so hard to cut though. <laughs> Gotta make sure the angles are the same. <laughs> or we start over. clever person wouldn't screw into this right here. You know why? Because it's going to come out the, the wall though. So we're not going to do that. Mm -hmm. 